Kristen here. So this vlog is going to be a little different than stuff that we've done in the past. Um, first of all, it's just going to be my face for today. <laughs> so, um, but more importantly, this is going to be sort of not quite a rant, but like definitely my opinion on something. So if you don't want to listen to me, um, just blabber for a while about my opinion, then, um, you don't have to watch this video. <laughs> um, but basically, so something that I see on um, Lolita tips a lot and just like generally in relation to Lolita on Tumblr and whatnot are questions regarding like boyfriends or significant others and what they think about Lolita. And so um, it's just something that I get a little, I just have a, a very strong opinion on it, I guess. So I'm just going to talk about it. Um, but basically, I really feel like if you are with someone that loves you, then they would accept your um, your interest in this fashion because it makes you happy. So regardless if they want to dress up with you or go to meets with you or support your habit, I guess. So even if they don't want to do all of that or if they do, regardless, they shouldn't make you feel bad about something that you really enjoy, especially since Lolita is not something that hurts anyone or causes any, like, you know, pain or suffering to anyone else. I mean, maybe, like, I know my bank account is usually kind of sad because of it, but that's a different issue entirely. So I guess my question just always kind of boils down to, like, why would you, why would you be with someone, first of all, that doesn't make you happy? And second of all, why is it that you you care so much about what they think. I mean, I suppose, like, if you care about another person, obviously you care about what they think of you, I get that, but I don't feel like that other person person should stifle you in things that you love. So, especially not if they claim to love you. Um, so a good example of this would be, um, I was seeing this guy for a while that he, he didn't like Lolita, um, but he didn't really like if I wore, like, makeup. He didn't like, um, if I got dressed up for things. He would always ask me, like, why are you doing that? Why are you bothering? And this is coming from a guy who would wear plain shirts every day and, um, gym shorts or jeans. And sometimes he would go really crazy and, like, wear a plaid button-up shirt, but that was, like, really, really extreme for him. So that was his decision but he always kind of made it into this weird thing whenever i would get dressed up and i tried to explain you know like this is what makes me happy like i'm not doing this for you um and even if i was if i you know like i just it was very it was a really weird situation and so it got to the point where it was like he made me feel like he wouldn't necessarily outright say anything but you could tell it made him uncomfortable and he did say, like, I wouldn't want to go out in public with you like that. And I've seen some opinions that, you know, like, oh, that's fine. Like, you shouldn't make them go out in public with you while you're all dressed up. And while I understand being respectful about that, at the same time, it's like, that's kind of insulting if they're like, I don't want to be seen in public with you. Like, that's basically saying you're kind of a freak show, in my opinion. So... I think it really, like, as far as the boyfriend situation goes, it just depends entirely on how invested you are in that other person and if you're willing to sacrifice your own happiness for that other person. Um, but historically speaking, fashion has typically been considered a woman's thing. And I don't think it's any coincidence that as, like, a whole fashion is kind of not necessarily looked down upon, but definitely considered trivial or vain or not a valid um, form of expression. Um, and yeah, it's for a really long time, it's been pretty much the only way that women could really outwardly express themselves. Um, for example, the, uh, the gallery, the museum that I work at, we have no feminist work in the galleries. I mean, if we do, it's something new that I haven't seen. Um, 
and it's probably in the contemporary section, but as far as all of our classical work goes, we don't have any feminist work. We have a few works by female artists, um, but they're pretty few and far between. So art was not really something that women were recognized for. Um, additionally, women writers were not really recognized. Pretty much anything that women do or did really um, wasn't really seen as good as a man's version of the same thing um, or they weren't even allowed to participate in a lot of things like that um, so fashion is something that I think is sort of easy for women to access I guess um, and if you're a woman and you're not into fashion by all means that's totally cool too I'm not saying you should be um, but it's it's typically something that's associated with women and it's oftentimes not thought of as being very important or it's attention seeking in some way or it's just not people just look down on it and i don't you know i think that if lolita is something you love and you want to express yourself or your talents through that then i think that's something you should do i don't think you should hide that just because someone else doesn't like it I mean, eventually you're gonna resent that person because they don't like what you like or they won't even let you like what you like, I guess. And at that point, it's kind of like, why are you in a relationship with someone that doesn't make you happy? I mean, there are so many other people out there um, or maybe just don't be in a relationship, I don't know. But whatever the case may be, I don't think it's a healthy situation to be in if you feel like you can't do what you want to do with your clothing because it's your body it's your money you can you can spend it however you want and if they don't like that then that's their problem as far as i'm concerned um but yeah and i i mean lolita is obviously a very sort of over the top style even like not speaking of ott sweet lolita it's still definitely a lot more involved than like sweatpants and Ugg boots <laughs> um, and I feel like that's something else that's really sort of looked down upon um, but Dita Von Tees, who I've mentioned is kind of a um, someone I really look up to um, she talks a lot about you know the um, strength of women and being able to use makeup and dressing the way they want to become what they want to look like and Again, I think that a lot of people see that as really vain and really negative when it doesn't have to be. I think that there's a very, um, I think that the art of using makeup and using clothing to look the way that you want to look is really empowering. Um, so I just, I think that someone would, that would try to take that away from you or make you feel less than because that was something that you were interested in probably isn't someone you should be around anyway. So, I mean, you know, obviously do what you want to do, but I just, I think it's crap. Um, especially since what if that person leaves at some point in time? I mean, I don't know that any relationship is ever guaranteed to work out. So what do you do when this person is gone that you've been trying to like, fit into their mold of an ideal person and then suddenly one day they're gone and you could have been doing all these things you love that whole time but now they're gone and like you've wasted all that time or you've been hiding your lolita collection in the closet all that time it just mm, no 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 as far as i'm concerned if your significant other has a problem with your lolita you should maybe really evaluate what's more important to you if it's more important for you to be with that person or if it's more important for you to dress the way you want to dress and do what makes you happy um so yeah anyway i know that was sort of a long rant on my opinion on boyfriends and significant others and lolita and whatnot um but i hope that that's encourage some of you to express yourself in your clothing um, more than you would have otherwise. I know that I feel much better when I'm wearing what I want to wear regardless of who I'm with, so 
Hope that helps. Bye.